Okay, let's look at question number 11. Um, it tells us that we want to sound a buzzer when there is... We want to sound the buzzer when there is light in the photographic dark room at times when it is in use. When it is in use. Okay. When the dark room is in use, the switch is moved to position P. So dark room in use, switch is at position P. When it is not in use, switch is at position Q. Depending upon the light level, the resistance of the light dependent resistor varies between much higher and much lower than the resistance of resistor R. Okay. Write down whether the voltage level is high or low at the various points in the circuit um, in the following situations. So, let's look at this. They tell us that if this is 6 volts, means oh, if the supply is 6 volts, means over here is 6 volts, over here is 6 volts. Over here will be 0 volts, over here potential at this point is 0 volts, right? Now, when um, they tell you when the dark room is in use, the switch is moved to P. So dark room is in use. Dark room in use. Um, switch is in P. Now, if the switch is in P, it means it's going to be at a... It means that B is going to be at a high potential, right? When the dark room is not in use, then the switch is at Q. So if the switch is at Q, it means that B is going to be at a low potential. Okay, so let's look at this. At B, when it's at P. Let's do part 2 first, okay? So, at B, when switch is at P, P would be 1. And when it's Q, it's 0. What about when there's light in the room? Okay, so when there's light in the room, let's see. So, when there is light, it, when light increases, that means resistance here is going to decrease. When the resistance across the LDR decreases, it means that potential difference across the LDR will decrease. It means that potential difference across the resistor will increase. So when... Now why do I do that? Because this is 0 volts, right? So I want to find out what is this potential at this point here in order to know um, whether it's a high or low potential. Okay, so if potential increases means over here, if initially if they're the same resistance, so if this is 3 ohms, this is 3 ohms, it means that over here will be 3 volts, right? But then, if I say that light increases um, of the, the LDR, um, the light intensity on the LDR increases, it means that potential difference across the LDR will decrease, potential difference across R will increase. So that means this is going to, when V increases here, this is going to change to like say 4 ohms or 5 ohms, right? So it means that A is going to be high. Logic level at A is going to be high. So this tells me that when there's light, when light increases, logic level at A is going to be high. When light decreases, logic level at A is going to be low. Why is that so? When light decreases, it means that resistance increase. When resistance increase means potential difference across the LDR will increase. When potential difference across LDR increase, it means that potential difference across R will decrease. So when we say potential difference across R decreases, it means the potential here is going to be, say, 2 volts, right? Because potential difference across this part here is going to decrease. So, yeah, comparing just now 4 volts, now it's 2 volts, means it's at a low input. Okay, so when there's light input, uh, when there's light input will be 1, when there's no light input will be 0, right? Yeah. Okay, the output C of logic X is only high when both inputs A and B are high. State what type of gate logic X is. Now, they tell you that A and B must both be high in order for output C to be high. Let's see. Uh. 
Okay, yeah. So A and B are here. And C is coming up from here, right? So if both must be high, means your logic gate must be a N gate. State the name of component Y. Okay, component Y uh, not in your syllabus. So this is actually a transistor. But it's not in your syllabus, okay? Explain whether or not the student circuit achieves the aim of providing a warning when there is light in the room when it is in use. Okay. So they tell you that these two must be high in order for the output to be high, right? Ah, okay, sorry. Because of the transistor here, you wouldn't know whether the buzzer is going to ring or not uh, because of the transistor. So again, part E you cannot really do. 